Okay, it's the 25th of the 2nd, 2024. Um, we're going to change rear brake uh, cylinder on a Holden Rodeo 1995 TF. Um, there's a video on changing the other side, the right hand side. Now the left hand side was a little more complicated so I'll just uh, explain what happened to me and uh, you might be better prepared if you have to do this job or or a job uh, similar on another car. So here's the uh, the brake line and the uh, the hydraulic flare nut wouldn't uh, wouldn't undo and you may be able to see if I can get some focus on that that uh, I did round it off a little bit okay but I, I didn't put too much pressure on it um, I was using just a normal 10 mil uh, open ender and you can see it's not very thick um, that's what I used that's uh, but I'll come back to that I tried my own modification on a, a 10 mil ring spanner however of course both sides separated and it also went across the uh, um, the let's call it the head of the uh, the bolt but you can see that this is much thicker and also the um, the top of this nut is also thicker as is the um, the uh, the vent uh, the nib there on top to uh, to to bleed the uh, the air out. So what I did was I got this that slips over there and onto the nut. Um, I'll use the ten mil one. Okay, just like that. I I did undo this, so I'll do that now. Okay, so now there's the uh, the bleeding um, air bleed screw, so that's out. So that was on top, and now we can see that this will slip onto the nut, and I can undo that. Okay, and there's the uh, brake fluid coming out. Now there's the uh, the back of the uh, brake cylinder. So we have these two nuts at the back here. It's pretty poor lighting, but maybe you can make out one there and there's one there. Okay. So that's the, the brake cylinder is the round bit. So there's the front of the brake cylinder. Uh, this one's not too bad. However, if, if we peel back the... Uh, the rubbers we may be able to see that it is um, a little bit uh, um, damp in behind there the other side's been replaced so now's probably a, a good time it's going to be pretty challenging to to film in there but you probably get the idea of some dampness down the bottom there and on the other side okay there's the uh, they're calling it a tubing wrench set that's what I bought I bought it on eBay for about $25 so we get uh, these three looks like um, 17 to um, 10 millimeters okay so that's what uh, got me through. Okay, it seems like uh, Protex is the builder of, uh, or the manufacturer of the brake cylinder. So that's it, what we were looking at from the back with the two nuts. Um, the two holding nuts go um, in there. There's the bleeding valve there. Um, and that's where the uh, the brake line connects okay so that just fills up and pushes a pist the two pistons push out and push the uh, 
each side of the brake cylinder onto the shoe on both sides. They spread apart and they go onto the drum and spread apart on the drum and stop the car. Okay, looking around the back of the brake drum, the, uh, the hydraulic line, the hydraulic line uh, is separated. Just remove the two nuts on the back. Okay, we should be able to remove the cylinder. So here's our new cylinder on top. Okay. So the um, the one on the bottom is from 1995. So it's been doing a fair amount of work for a long time. So there's the uh, the old piston. So there it is there, okay, and that goes in the cylinder, and we've got a spring in there, but we'll have a look at that uh, a bit later. Okay, I've turned these to line up with the, uh, vertically, to line up with the shoes, so we have to have this bleeding nib on top, that will pass through that hole there. I might just clean that up a bit. It'll go in, it's just a matter of finding the right angle. Okay, that's it. There's the back of it, so I'll put the two uh, screws in the top and put the uh, the brake line in, and uh, we'll go from there. It's quite an easy job. At this point, you need to uh, just top up your uh, your brake um, reservoir there. with uh, brake fluid I'll snug these up later. Okay, 
they're the two uh, holding nuts and now the brake line uh, nut I'll take the bleeding valve off so I can gain access to uh, to the hydraulic uh, line so this travels in a fair way it's got a fair amount of thread the hydraulic line so I'll work on that a little bit okay I'll snug up the hydraulic line Put the valve in, tighten that up. Might help if I turn it the right way. Okay, so I'll have to. Uh, undo that to bleed the uh, the brakes so the main thing to check is the the line and the nuts okay okay that's the job finished um, don't forget to put your uh, drum brake on before bleeding the brakes um, because the, the pads push against the, uh, the inside of the drum. Um, just as a check, just make sure that everything is um, tightened up. So that's the, uh, the line, hydraulic fluid line is tight. The, uh, the bleed brake... Uh, Brake bleed valve. I have checked that. Um, and the two nuts. I can just find. The ratchet spanner. And get my light. Aimed properly. So. Just make sure that the two nuts. Are done up properly, and that the uh, the cap is on the bleed valve, and um, bleed your brakes. So that's a diagram I wrote down. So push the brake down. So you open the valve, you push the brake down. Okay, you close the valve, you let the brake up. If you're in trouble and there's only you and you don't know what to do you can get a container like this put a piece of uh, tubing in that will go onto the bleed valve the tip of the bleed valve put some in submerge the, the line to the bottom of the container this is a uh, fruit container fruit was in this um, I think it's, uh, I can't think of the name of the brand name, but you might find it in a supermarket. Um, and get some line, and then you can just sit in the cab and push the brake, and that will bleed it. Or uh, you can open up the valve, you can get a stick like this, you can put it on the brake, like that, and then... You may have to remove the cover, but you can push you can push it down and into the seat. Okay, and then um, yeah, as I say, we have to we have to be like this, and that will that will hold it. And then go around, close the valve, and 
let it up off the uh, off the brake. There's a number of ways to do it. Okay, so with that container there, that that setup would slip onto onto the bleed brake valve like that. Okay, and then you put the container on the ground, and that way you can bleed the brakes. All right, so there we go. I know that it's safe, the brakes are good, everything's done up. The two, two nuts, the brake bleed valve and the uh, hydraulic line. Um, when I put my foot on the brake, as we can see, that's got uh, good travel on the brake pedal. So I think this is going to be a successful uh, bit of work. You do need quite a lot of tools. And um, I said we were going to have a look at the old one. So let's uh, have a go at doing that now. Okay, so as we saw before, we have a spring inside there. Might get another light. So we see probably that there's a spring in there. That's the spring there. And inside there looks to be a piston in there. The spring is tapered. It's thin on one end. Okay, I didn't really see what way, but I'd say it'd be thin on the outside. We have a nib here on the end of the piston. Okay, so in between there and there, that's rubber. It's flared. It flares out. Okay, this has just got a bit old, I suppose, and some brake fluid has got past it and into this region here where it's a bit rusty. Okay, so we'd have to push fairly hard to get that in there. And that's, that's in. So that's riding on the spring. Okay, hydraulic line, bleed brake valve, the reservoir, the pistons, got these protective uh, rubber sleeves, there's your other piston, okay, there's the other rubber gaskets, a bit hard, a spring in there, okay, that will have to seat now, it is tapered so that the larger end is on the outside, okay, and the thinner end is there, so that goes in there and sits on that piston there. That'll have to be located properly on the, on the piston like that. Want to get that nib in there properly on the spring. So we just centre that, try and keep that there, but it should, should locate properly and that's disassembled and assembled. Then these rubber pieces just sit back in this groove here. Okay, well, wear gloves. You know, I don't believe it. I think I've got a leech, and the leech has somehow got to the back of, somehow got through the sock. I tuck my pants in. Let's have a look and see what we've got there. I just don't believe this. If this... If there's a leech in there, I just... Look. 
Can you believe it? That is incredible. I just... I just can't believe that. That's my blood. How on earth... How in the name of God did he get in there? So he pushed his way. That's going to be a massive. That's going to be a massive uh, bite. That's going to swell up. You know these things are incredible. They they have all sorts of um, uh, sensory perception, and they can even. Um, detect molecules in the air anyway I just don't know what to do I mean as I say that's how I took precautions and yet he's pushed his way down there and up up there I don't believe it sometimes they seem to just appear out of thin air and I'm working in a garage too, so, yeah, I can't explain that. They seem to be able to play tricks on the mind too. They're, they're just incredible animals. Um, okay, well, that's a bit of a sideshow. It's a bit of a bonus. I'll just take it on a test drive, just up and down the driveway, just make sure everything's okay. Okay. I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe. Whoops, that's better, I think. Somehow, I got uh, I got the video upside down, but hopefully, you know, that's it'll be okay. Honestly, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say. You know, the incredible thing about leeches is they always bite in the same location. So if that leech had come up this way and gone over the top of my pants and back down, or whether it squeezed through and then travelled back up, why wouldn't it bite around the ankle? Why... Why the same location, right where the sock is? I just... One strange thing I'd like to say about the leech is that although the leech was on my body and it would have spent a fair amount of time getting to where it got, um, it was actually cold. The leech was uh, quite cold. Um, truth is, in fact, stranger than fiction. Um, you know, a brake cylinder video turns into a leech video, so there you go. Life's interesting in the uh, Western world, or any world for that matter.